this is our data, and we want to convert this column into something like this because we can't work with this data because it is not numerical, it's a string. So let's do it. So here we are importing pandas as PD, and then this is the path of our data. So we are reading that data and we're restoring that in a variable called DF, I mean data frame. And then I want to access the view column of this data frame and I want to map a function onto this column. So in order to apply a function onto this column, we want to use the lambda function. And for this lambda function, for example, it takes an input called data and after the column, we should specify the output. I mean, what we are going to do with that data. So now we want to do a couple of steps for our data. So first of all, we should split our data because our data has two parts the first part is the number and the second part is the string and then we want to access the zeroth element which is our number and as you know python starts counting at zero but as you can see there's a problem with our number and the problem is that there are some commas in our number so we need to fix that in order to do so we simply want to replace those commas so we want to replace those commas with an empty string this way we are going to delete those commas in that number so after doing this all we need to do is we need to pass this into the integer function in order to convert that into an integer number and after doing all of this stuff let's update the view column so we want to update the view column and now we want to save our data so we simply type df.2 csv because we want to save our data as a csv file and also remember that you can save it as an excel file but i want to save it as a csv file that's it and i should paste the path of that output for example i want to store the output here as you can see the name is data02 that's it and also i want to add another argument and that argument is index equals to false it means that i don't want python to add another column called index and add that column to our data to our output so now if i run the code so as you can see this is our data and now if i open it you can see here we have the view column and the problem has been fixed now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now